CNGEdge.com. Hey everybody, this is Joel with uh, CNG Edge Diesel Dual Fuel Systems. I just want to do a real world comparison here um, on the actual fuel savings when you run our uh, diesel dual fuel system for generators. Um, so what I'm going to do right here is I have this old milk bottle that I have filled up with diesel. And if you can see right there, it is uh, right at this line right here. So right now what we're going to do is we're going to run it for 10 minutes. So I have our little egg timer here. We're going to run it for 10 minutes, diesel only. And then we're going to see how much fuel it consumed by looking um, here at this uh, bottle. And then we'll fill it right back up to the same place and then we'll turn on the natural gas system and we will run it again with the natural gas and diesel system on and see how much fuel it consumes that way. All right, let's just get going on this thing. So I'm gonna set this for this thing for 10 minutes.
there's the buzzer. Let's take a look here. We are right at our mark here. As you can tell, I've run this test before. So right at this Sharpie mark here, and we started up above here. So up here, down here, in 10 minutes. So I'll fill this thing back up and we'll run it again with the natural gas. Okay, here's part two. So I filled it back up to the same place it was for the other test. But this time we have our natural gas system um, ready. So let's get started. I'm going to go ahead and turn that on so it's ready to go. And we'll set this timer to 10 minutes. And let's go. here. I'm just going to kind of talk about the system for a few minutes, just while we're waiting. Um, if you want to just get to the results, you can just go ahead and fast forward um, probably to like the 11 or 12 minute mark, probably 11 minutes, and you get right to it. Um, the benefits of running natural gas and diesel are number one, cost. Uh, cost for natural gas to a, a gallon of diesel equivalent. Um, obviously, natural gas is a gas form, not liquid form. So there's a comparison. But to about a gallon of diesel equivalent of natural gas is about 60 cents. Um, per gallon. So it's just a fraction of the cost of diesel fuel. The other benefit is runtime. So if you're running, let's say, a 50 50 uh, natural gas to diesel mixture, you'll get uh, double the runtime on the same amount of diesel that your uh, generator already has now. Because it's running off of fuel on the pipeline, um, you don't have to go out and fuel it near as much. And so if you normally can run 24 hours, you'll be able to run uh, 48 hours. And then uh, if you run a 70-30 mix, then you can actually even run uh, a lot longer. So pipeline fuel is available on the pipeline and you don't have to fuel it and it saves money. Also emissions are reduced because natural gas is clean burning. So
so the emissions are reduced quite a bit. Um, engine oil life is extended because the uh, oil doesn't get as much soot and carbon buildup in it from the diesel, so it lasts much longer. Um, and then also uh, filter life, fuel filter life is extended because you're just not using as much diesel as you did before. So your filter time, your filters do less work and last longer. So just overall savings there. Um, this is also a good way to offset the EPA emission standards if they're trying to uh, get you to put uh, emissions equipment on your system that will cost you money and lower your efficiency. This system will actually um, reduce your emissions substantially and uh, raise your efficiency and save you money. I'm running on this generator here. Uh, it's actually for a, a, a tannery in Mississippi. Um, so I was doing some uh, testing of the, the kit before I went and installed it on there. Um, before before I went out there, so I figured this is a great time to make a video to kind of show the the cost savings in comparison when you run the blended fuel.
fudging the numbers that we were speeding up the time. So this one I decided I was just going to run it the entire time and you'll be able to see for yourself. There's the buzzer. Let's see where we're at here. So as you can see, and we should kind of give it a minute to filter back in. See if I can get some light on there. But the old line where diesel only is right here. That's our mark for diesel only. And here's what we used with natural gas and diesel blended. Go ahead and mark that here. Uh, I can't really see it. So there's our old mark right here. Diesel only 10 minutes. And here with a blended fuel. And for both tests we started um, right up right here. So between the two fuels, um, it looks like we used about a half as much um, diesel on this run as we did diesel alone. So we're set at about a 50 fix 50 mix ratio here. We're kind of limited. Um, as to the pressure uh, we get here from the local gas company um, to get enough pressure to actually run. This is such a big generator, 30 kilowatts, that it takes uh, a little bit higher service pressure to, to hit the 70-30 ratio, but 50-50, hey, I'm happy with that. That's a good... Uh, good ratio. We normally shoot for 70-30, but for this demonstration, hey, it'll work out great. So there you have it. Um, if you have questions, you can uh, post a comment on this video. You can also um, send us an email at um, teamcngedge at gmail.com or look at our website, cngedge at we also uh, can also find us at uh, dieseldualfuelsystems.com. Uh, so team CNG Edge at gmail.com, CNG Edge.com, and dieseldualfuelsystems.com. You can call us, send us a number on our text line, email us, um, whatever your pleasure is. So there you have it. Um, there's a real world um, scenario that shows actual fuel savings when running on the pipeline natural gas on this uh, big military 30 kilowatt generator. Thanks everybody for watching. Have a great day.